uh, Kevin Wall. Kevin, uh, six minutes, please. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, thanks to our uh, guests today, Pat McLaughlin, Bob Nicholson. Bob, of course, long time with Hockey Canada, and before that, the Canadian Amateur Hockey Association, which, of course, uh, went into Hockey Canada. So, Mr. Nicholson, you referred to 2018, which you were not president, CEO of the organization, but you were in 2003 in Halifax at the World Juniors. When did you become aware of the sexual allegations out of that World Championship out of Halifax? Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you for your question. The rumor was conveyed to me by a media person on July 7th at the draft in Montreal. Uh, that was the very first time that I heard anything about the 2003 incident. We're going to talk about the funds because uh, you've been there since day one. We find the National Equity Fund, then we find the Participants Legacy Trust Fund, and now we have a third fund that Hockey Canada uses for settlements. Mr. Nicholson, were you in charge of any of these funds since day one with Hockey Canada? I, I was the CEO, but uh, that area was really left to our insurance people. We had uh, very good staff. We also had a committee that oversaw uh, the insurance programs, uh, as well as some expertise. Uh, you've had Barry Lorenzetti uh, here before. He he was a big part of that. And all of that came to me, but I was not day-to-day -day ha hands-on to that. Well, how many funds or other collections of money available for settling these sexual assault lawsuits were created while you were at Hockey Canada for your term there, almost two decades? Yeah, the... The very first one was the equity fund, uh, and then we um, moved into the legacy fund in 1999. And then the stabilization fund was uh, there in 2007 and 2008. Set up three funds, and I noticed in your address, you, you said Hockey Canada wasn't very uh, fluid on money. Uh, but today, as you know, Hockey Canada is the richest non-profit sport organization in the country with almost $150 million in their bank account. So uh, I want you to address these three funds to tell parents who had to pay the registration fees, I would say 90 to 100 percent not knowing that these funds were set up and that uh, parents across this country were shocked when the story broke in July that registration fees were, in fact, uh, used for sexual assault cases. Yes, I, I can tell you that uh, when I left Hockey Canada, uh, that uh, those funds were in the neighborhood of 40 to $50 million. Uh, and those, uh, there are other areas that, that that money was there. Uh, the goal at that time was to make sure that we had enough funds if something drastic happened to uh, uh, Hockey Canada or the various levels below us. And the, the registration fee when I was there stayed the same at approximately $3, and I don't think has uh, been raised since that time. The issues that we've had around this table has been the non-disclosure agreements. We are not getting any answers from Hockey Canada on the non-disclosure agreements. You, as CEO, can you speak to the non-disclosure agreements under your term as CEO with Hockey Canada? How many were there? I can't tell you the exact number um, of NDAs that were signed. I know that, uh, you know, where there were payouts, there are NDAs signed um, under the Graham James uh, situation. Um, and... There have been others that are there from uh, staff uh, in the past, but for me to say a number, I, I just don't have that. Uh, you could go back to Hockey Canada, and hopefully they would give you the number of NDAs that have happened um, throughout my time uh, with Hockey Canada. From participating in its sanctioned teams and leagues. I mean, you mentioned Graham James, which, as you know, I'm familiar with from the province of Saskatchewan. He turns up 
coaching elsewhere. Nobody even knows about him, his past record. These are the sort of things that in the hockey world were astonished to hear that after banning Graham James in the uh, hockey uh, circles in this country, he shows up elsewhere and nobody has a track of, of these people that should be worldwide known about their sexual allegations and what they went through. Uh, Kevin, th thanks for uh, asking that question. That was something that uh, I got involved in. Uh, Graham James went to Spain to coach. We contacted the International Ice Hockey Federation at the time, and we also contacted Spain seconds. and gave them the information about Graham James. Uh, it was astonishing, but they allowed him to continue to coach. Uh, you have... Uh 20 seconds left, Kevin. Thank you. You must be sick of the allegations that has come forward since you left as CEO of Hockey Canada. Could you comment on that quickly? I missed the first part of that, Kevin. Uh, uh, just, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're now out of time, Kevin. Perhaps somebody can ask that question later on from your team. Thank you.